I was bringing up something inside my subconscious on the verge of having some kind of intense revelation of everything I've ever done wrong my entire life. Hey, I'm Katie Hannigan. This is the time I did mushrooms and became a single mother of five in the very same day. Before I get started, I, I did tell this joke on TV and I said that I'm on acid, but the truth is I was on shrooms. I am more of a shrooms person because I just, I'm not a party girl. I just kind of like getting in touch with nature and connecting with myself. At this particular time, we couldn't get into nature. We just had to go to the park. So we get to the park and with a couple buddies, we're kind of vibing and we're getting a few little visuals here and there. And then I look over and I see this lone baby coming towards me. Am I fully tripping or is that baby fully heading over here? And my friend who is tripping is like, ah, hi baby. He just starts beelining towards us. He plops down on the blanket and I'm like looking around for the parents and they're off on some other far away blanket like, hey, don't worry, we got our eye on you. I'm like, oh, uh, well, okay, that's what you wanna hear when you're starting to trip out. So we had gotten all these toys, clay and bubbles, sequins and if I'm being honest, it did look like we were trying to lure a baby there and the baby was in them immediately. It was slobbering all over everything and we had to like throw them all away so we wouldn't choke on them. We had some clay, so I was like, okay, keeping the baby busy, like let's sculpt some clay together. As I'm sculpting with this clay, I just felt like the drugs kind of coming on and it felt like I was bringing up something from really deep inside my subconscious on the verge of having some kind of intense revelation of everything I've ever done wrong my entire life and how to fix it and how to achieve my dreams. And just as I was about to have like a big realization, the baby grabbed my clay and smashed it on the ground. And I'm, you know, trying to get back to that place again. And I feel like I'm about to have an epiphany of every place in my life where I've been holding myself back. And right as I'm about to get there, once again, the baby grabs it and smashes it into his mouth. The meaning of life was going to be shown to me and now it's not. Anytime I tried to have a moment for myself and like stare off into the foliage of the one tree in the park, he would start getting upset. At a certain point, we realized that it was Father's Day, which explains why all the kids were running around completely unattended. My two friends, they go off to, to play Frisbee. I guess I'll stay here. You know, I'm not gonna leave the baby. He's already been abandoned by his family. And me and the baby and the toys start attracting more kids. All of a sudden, it's now me and the baby and three other random kids on the blanket. They were fighting over the toys. I'm fully tripping at this point. And every time they were grabbing the toys, I was just identifying with them emotionally where I was like, you know, wanting, defensive, jerking my body. It was so jarring. And one of the kids looks right into my face and he's like, your eyes are weird. No, they're not. They're good. They're good. And now all the kids are trying to climb over on me to stare into my gaping pupils. The baby starts crying, of course, because he wasn't the focus of attention for like three seconds. I was trying to calm the baby down. I was like patting his little back and he looked into my soul and I looked down at his sweet little face and I just got triggered pretty hard because I was thinking like, I am this baby and maybe if I had the support that I needed as an infant, I wouldn't be doing drugs on a blanket in the park right now. And I'm fully sobbing. Then the parents of all the kids suddenly come to the realization that maybe the stranger they left their family with isn't 100% stable. So they come and they get the kids and they get the baby. And I felt pretty bad uh, that the baby was gone because at that point I felt he was my common law son. I mean, I didn't want him originally, but now I have grown to like him. And isn't that what parenthood is? And my friends come back. I am crying in the fetal position uh, because I never got to say goodbye. So if you're out there, baby, don't do drugs. Tales from the...